Carbon fiber is an engineer's dream. Lightweight, yet incredibly strong. It's a string with thousands of parallel filaments. Multiple strings can be twisted into yarns, woven into fabrics, or molded with resin to produce materials called carbon fiber composites. Carbon fiber is five times stronger than steel, yet less than half the weight. To make it, they take a plastic fiber composed of thousands of filaments, far thinner than human hair. They then chemically alter it to form a perfect chain of carbon atoms for the final product. This mammoth machine lines up dozens of those fibers, which then travel through an oxidation oven for a couple of minutes. The oven temperature, about 480 degrees Fahrenheit, prompts the fibers to pick up oxygen molecules from the air. This rearranges the fiber's atomic structure, rendering them resistant to high heat. As the fibers oxidize, they change color to eventually turn black. They're now primed for the next process, carbonization. Furnaces heat the fibers in an oxygen-free gas mixture. This expels the non-carbon atoms and transforms the remaining carbon atoms into tightly bonded crystals running parallel to the length of the fiber. This gives the fiber its strength. The exiting fibers travel through a bath of electrically charged water that etches the fiber surface so they'll better absorb resin. The next station applies a light preliminary coat of resin. This will strengthen the fiber's chemical bond to the molding resin. A spooling machine winds each fiber, now referred to as a carbon fiber toe, onto a bobbin, which buyers either weave into a carbon fiber fabric or mix with resin to mold a product. Another form of carbon fiber is pre-preg, sheets of resin impregnated carbon fiber ready for molding. It's like ready-to-bake cake mix. The resin is a formula of epoxy and various powdered hardeners and accelerators. Workers pour the resin into a filming machine, which spreads it in a thin, wet layer onto paper. The paper is pre-treated with a release agent to prevent the final product from sticking. Like spraying a baking pan with non-stick coating. Another machine, meanwhile, groups two to three hundred carbon fiber toes into a giant band of fibers called a web. The width and thickness of the web determines the width and thickness of the pre-preg sheet. Workers mount two rolls of resin-coated paper onto the resin impregnation machine. A heating element warms up the web as it enters to facilitate resin absorption. Then the heated carbon fiber web is sandwiched between two sheets of resin-coated paper. High pressure heated rollers thin out the resin so it penetrates the millions of carbon fiber filaments. Cooling plates then turn the liquid resin to gel so that the next station can remove the paper which pulls off easily thanks to the release agent. The next station covers the top of the pre preg sheet with polyester film. This prevents the pre preg sheet from sticking to itself at the end of the line when it's wound into a roll like a fruit roll-up. In the factory's lab, technicians run quality control tests on pre preg samples. First, they weigh the sample. Then they wash off the resin with chemicals and weigh the sample again. This verifies whether the ratio of carbon fiber to resin is correct. The lab also analyzes samples of composite, carbon fiber reinforced resin. In this tensile strength test, the computer measures how much strain the sample withstands before breaking. Such testing ensures the carbon fiber delivers optimum strength, durability, and heat resistance. Whether it's used to make an auto part, a wind turbine blade, or a golf club.
Thank you.